Ready to up your game when it comes to mealtime? Hey everyone, it's Nia with Nanny Parent Connection back with a great video for you this week. Nannies, your role in nurturing children extends beyond playtime. Providing them with wholesome and exciting meals is essential for their growth and development. While convenience often leads to these familiar options, let's delve into a world of culinary creativity that both you and the kids will enjoy. Let's start by reimagining the classic Lunchables. How to make homemade Lunchables. Making homemade Lunchables is a fun and creative way to customize your lunch to your liking. Start by gathering your favorite ingredients such as crackers, cheese, and sliced meats or veggies. Use small cookie cutters to cut out the cheese and meals into fun shapes if desired. Arrange everything neatly in a compartmentalized container or bento box, separating each ingredient to maintain freshness. You can also include additional items like fruits, nuts, or dips for variety. Homemade Lunchables are not only delicious, but also allow you to control the quality and quantity of ingredients, making them a healthier alternative to store-bought versions. Homemade Lunchables offer endless possibilities, from nutritious ingredients to personalized snacks. Engage the kids in creating their own combinations for a fun and healthy lunchtime. Next up, the timeless favorite, SpaghettiOs. How to make homemade SpaghettiOs. Creating homemade SpaghettiOs is a simple and satisfying task. Begin by cooking your favorite pasta, according to the package instructions. While the pasta is cooking, prepare the tomato sauce by sauteing diced onions and garlic in olive oil until they are soft and fragrant. Then, add a can of crushed tomatoes, along with herbs such as oregano, basil, and a pinch of sugar to balance the acidity. Let the sauce simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes until it thickens slightly. Once the pasta is cooked, drain it and toss in the homemade tomato sauce until well coated. Serve your homemade SpaghettiOs hot, garnished with grated Parmesan cheese and fresh basil leaves for an extra burst of flavor. These quick, budget-friendly meals are beloved by kids of all ages. Explore different flavors and variations to keep lunchtime exciting. Who says healthy snacks can't be indulgent? Enter chocolate-covered bananas. How to make chocolate-covered bananas. To make chocolate-covered bananas, start by peeling ripe bananas and cutting them in half crosswise. Insert a popsicle stick into each banana half then place them on a parchment-lined baking sheet and freeze for about 30 minutes. Meanwhile, melt your favorite chocolate in a microwave-safe bowl in 30-second intervals, stirring until smooth. Once the bananas are firm, dip them into the melted chocolate using a spoon to coat them evenly. You can also roll them in crushed nuts or sprinkles for extra flavor and texture. Place the chocolate-covered bananas back on the baking sheet and freeze until the chocolate sets. Typically around 15 to 20 minutes, once firm, they're ready to enjoy as a delicious and refreshing treat. This interactive snack combines the sweetness of chocolate with the wholesomeness of fruit, making it a delightful treat for kids and nannies alike. Let's get playful with ants on a log. How to make ants on a log. Making ants on a log is a quick and easy snack option. Start by washing and trimming celery stalks, then cut them into smaller, manageable pieces. Next, spread peanut butter or your favorite nut butter onto each celery piece. Finally, top the peanut butter with raisins, which resemble the ants on the log. Arrange your ants on a log neatly on a serving plate, and they're ready to enjoy as a tasty and nutritious snack. Ants on a log are not only fun to make, but also provide a satisfying combination of crunchy celery, creamy peanut butter, and sweet raisins. Encourage the kids to experiment with different spreads and toppings, catering to their preferences and dietary needs. Elevate the classic PB&J sandwich with a twist, Grilled PB&J. How to make a grilled PB&J. For a grilled PB&J sandwich, start by spreading peanut butter and jelly generously on two slices of bread. Then, assemble them into a sandwich. Next, lightly butter the outsides of the bread. Heat a skillet or griddle over medium heat and place the sandwich in the skillet. Cook for about two to three minutes on each side until the bread turns golden brown and crispy, and the peanut butter and jelly melt together. Once both sides are grilled to perfection, Remove the sandwich from the skillet. Slice if desired and serve warm. Grilled PB&J sandwiches offer a comforting and indulgent twist on the classic childhood favorite, with the warmth of the grill adding a delightful crunch and gooey texture to the familiar flavors. Get creative with cereal snack bars. How to make cereal snack bars. To make cereal snack bars, start by melting butter in a large pot over low heat. Add mini marshmallows and stir until they're completely melted and smooth. Remove from heat and mix in your favorite cereal. 
ensuring it's evenly coated with the marshmallow mixture. Transfer the mixture to a greased baking dish or pan, pressing it down firmly with a spatula to create an even layer. Let it cool for a few minutes before cutting into bars or squares. For an extra touch, you can drizzle melted chocolate over the top or sprinkle with additional toppings like chopped nuts, dried fruit, or colorful sprinkles before the bar is set completely. Allow the bars to cool completely before serving. These cereal snack bars are a delightful combination of sweet, chewy, and crunchy. Perfect for a quick and satisfying treat on the go. Let the kids mix and match their favorite cereals and toppings for a personalized snack that's as fun to make as it is to eat. Let's turn lunchtime into a pizza party with pita pizzas. How to make pita pizzas. Making pita pizzas is a quick and simple process. Start by preheating your oven to 375 degrees. Take a pita bread and spread a thin layer of pizza sauce over the top. Then, sprinkle shredded mozzarella cheese evenly over the sauce. Add your favorite toppings such as sliced vegetables, pepperoni, or cooked chicken. Place the prepared pita pizzas on a baking sheet and bake in the preheated oven for eight to 10 minutes or until the cheese is melted and bubbly. Once done, remove from the oven, slice if desired, and serve hot. Pita pizzas are versatile, customizable, and perfect for a delicious and satisfying meal or snack in no time. Remember, mealtime is not just about nourishment. It's an opportunity for creativity, bonding, and learning. So next time you're planning meals for the little ones, think outside the box and try these simple yet exciting ideas. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. In case you haven't seen it, don't forget to check out this video, how to write a great nanny advertisement. Until next time, happy cooking.